Hey guys and welcome back to this month's monthly free assets for the Unreal Engine Marketplace. This is obviously the first one of the year being January 2022, so happy new year everyone, hope you're having a great year so far. And once again we've got 5 amazing free assets to start off the new year from Unreal Engine. So these are the VFX Bundle 2, the ROG Modular Medieval Accessories and Ropes, the Procedural Level Generator, the Winter Forest Pack and the Dungeon Lamp Pack. So again, I'm going to be going over these, showing them off a bit, and just giving my opinions, as well as just a basic overview of them, what they are, what they include, and all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's get right into it, starting off with the VFX Bundle 2 pack. So this is a pack of 121 particle systems, 46 materials, and 18 blueprints of visual effects, including snow, rain, falling leaves, underwater effects, and simply beautiful emitters. And I've got to say, I absolutely love this one, especially the rain and the lightning looks really good. You can also see how the snow comes on and off of the textures with the ice as well. So you can have it look like it's been snowing a lot or not snowing at all. And in the video, what they've done is I imagine they probably just lurped between the snow and non-snow textures to make it look like the snow is falling onto it, which you could obviously do as well. So like I say, this features snowfall, rain, falling leaves, acoustics, dynamic weather, GPU sprites and raindrops on surface in a material function. The types of emitters are CPU and GPU, and there are 42 unique emitters with 121 total. There are no LEDs, but there are 46 materials with 10 material instances, 49 textures, 18 blueprints, and one unique mesh. So once again, I've got to say this one looks absolutely amazing. Would definitely recommend checking this out. You can use this in any game you want really, especially the rain and the snow. They work really well too, and obviously the falling leaves as well. These can really be used in any game you're making. Next up we've got the ROG Modular Medieval Accessories and Robes, and this includes 106 items of modular accessories i.e. braces, gloves, cloaks, shoulders, and robes for low fantasy magical medieval. So there are 106 accessories and robes, there are 16 robes, 26 cloaks, 34 shoulders, 11 braces, 15 gloves and 1 boot, chest, helm and pants. There's 806 skeletal meshes with 438 static meshes. 64 material instances, 3 mass materials and 1 material function, around 160 PBR textures, all being 2K and 4K, with albedo, normal and ORM maps. There are 4 LODs for the skeletal and static meshes, and the robes and cloaks also include cloth simulation, as you can see in the video here. It is rigged and it is to the epic skeleton, with IK bones included too, and it is also animated. There are 3 animations, for the demonstration obviously, and there are 6 characters. 6 full model and cut to 6 body parts of each other as well, without any morph types though. So the demo play mode includes 3 blueprints and 1 map. Again this one looks great if you wanted to maybe make an MMORPG for example, or you just wanted the player to be able to really customise their character in any game, this is going to work great for you. And I imagine you could probably also take the code from this and really learn from it just to learn how to make a modular character customization and you can maybe change the meshes around so it doesn't have to just be medieval accessories and robes. And obviously the cloth simulation as well that they've already done on these look great. It's fairly easy to do if you want to do it yourself as well, but it does just add that professional touch onto it as well to make it look really great. Next we've got the procedural level generator. Now this is a model based procedurally generated multi-story sci-fi base maze. So it includes a save load system, so you can save generated worlds, the player position and teleporters. A teleportation system, the rooms are their own map so you can load each room separately to really help with optimization. It supports nav mesh so you can have AIs as well. There's great optimization which I mentioned earlier thanks to the level streaming. You can display just the active room. You can really customize the generation of the world as well so it's not just going to be the same for everyone. It's not just you get this, you can really change it to customize how you want it to be generated. That includes selecting the size of the world, selecting the number of floors, the choice of floors which the player starts, the number of transitions between the floors and much more. It's also fully modular so you can easily set your own meshes including the floors, walls, doors etc. So they mentioned this is for a sci-fi based maze, that's just the example they've used. You could obviously change the static meshes to be what you want. There's also a loading bar and generation progress bar for obviously when you're loading into the level. So in total this includes 7 blueprints, 1 global function, 1 enum, 4 structures, 5 data tables, 1 save game, 7 materials of which 4 are important and 3 are auxiliary, 22 textures all at 1k resolution, and 4 widgets. It's also not network replicated. So this looks great, it kind of reminds me a bit of the game Half Dead if you remember that. 
just basically procedurally generated rooms which the player has to go through and try to escape from. That's that game, this is obviously different to this. And next up we've got the Winter Forest and we seem to have one very similar to this in pretty much every month. There's always a Winter Forest pack and this is another one which doesn't disappoint. So this is a dynamic winter environment with great flexibility for building winter scenes fast and easy. So the parameters are the snow amount which adds snow cover on non-snow parts of the landscape and also adds snow parts to trees and water. The water temperature will change the water and ice balance. The icicle height also changes the icicle size so it doesn't look out of proportion. The wind intensity regulates the wind speed that affects vegetation and tree branches. The snow amount foliage makes vegetation and tree branches frozen and the water speed parameter can increase and decrease water animation speed and water normal intensity. So it includes a snow landscape material, material for static meshes with dynamic snow cover, dynamic icicle material, foliage material with wind animation, customizable water material, and the demo level also shows you how to use the different assets, as well as there being four trees, three stones, ten grass types, one bush, and one snowflake particle system. So all the textures are 4K, and there is collision on all of the meshes as well, three LODs for trees and two LODs for stones and vegetation, with there being 20 meshes, eight materials, 30 material instances, one material function and one material parameter collection, and 31 textures. So again, I think this one looks absolutely great. There is, like I said earlier, always a winter forest every month it seems, and they all pretty much do the same thing. They are great though, however, they do look really visually pleasing, and again, this one's got snow, ice, icicles, wind, and all the different stuff which you'd want if you're making a game based upon or based in a winter forest. And finally, last but not least, we've got the dungeon lamps. And this is 195 modular objects and pre-assembled dungeon lamps, torches, and light fixtures. So like I say, there's 195 modular objects and pre-assembled dungeon lamps, torches, and light fixtures, with four different PBR material sets to change the looks of the objects all on one single texture atlas, four fire particle system variations and four different light function textures to fit the different light fixture geometries that you want wherever you want this so a dungeon a cave or just anywhere you want so this might even work well in a castle there are 18 8k textures 5 2k 4 1k and 3 at 512. there is automatically generated collision with a vertex count ranging from 50 to 5000 there's no lod's and there is 195 meshes 13 materials and material instances and 25 textures. Once again, I think these look really nice. They will work in any setting really. So again, dungeon, cave, castle, anything really medieval, I can see these working really well. And even in some old English towns, you do just have a really big one of these in the town center, as I've seen quite a few times. So these look great and would work anywhere really. Again, you can customize the textures from one place and the fire particles look really realistic too. So I think that'll be it for this month's monthly free assets for the month of January 2022, the first one of the year, and they've started off with some great ones once again. Another winter forest, some more VFX, some lamps, level generators, and your own modular medieval accessories. So I'm noticing a pattern that always seems to be a modular pack, a level pack, and also a winter forest now it seems, but also environmental. So we're kind of getting some themes there. And once again, it's really great that Epic Games do this every month for the developers to just get some free asset packs to keep developing their games. So I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful of me just going over this month's free assets, telling you what they are, what they include, and also giving my opinion on them. I think my favourite one this month is probably the VFX Bundle 2 because they do just look absolutely amazing and I can really see already where I'm going to be using these in my own games. So let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite one was. And like I say, I hope you enjoyed and I found this helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.